Hi, all Ruin Biomechanics fans. Today I'm going to start a uh, little video blogging about what we are doing, Ruin Biomechanics um, methods and analysis and how we can help actually for you to improve Ruin technique. I will start with very basic things, what we are doing. This is our uh, measurements system. You see here uh, the 8 is instrumented with by a row sensor. We measure two dimensional or angle. Also, we measure handle force, seat movement, and um, at the bow of the board, you can see the data logger. We record all data. There is a standard test protocol, uh, 2,000 meters with step increasing stroke rate. And then when we collect the data, actually uh, here you can see at the bottom the testing uh, piece, 2,000 meters. And one dot is one stroke and we can see the red dots as a stroke rate and basically we can select the samples start stop and get data first sample and you see uh, process selection let's see the second sample stroke rate 20 so you see here the data look like uh, waves many many waves every um, channel every variable you see many strokes and it's um, basically impossible to comprehend that data so what we do we produce uh, this is by roll tell software we produce uh, with this button I engage routine to produce average sample from this uh, number of strokes okay then select the next sample constant stroke rate say uh, get data 24 and there's some statistic here how many strokes then process next sample and in this way uh, we produce average um, in every channel for every variable uh, for that number of strokes then we save data in the um, uh, basically a special format data file and then process it in Excel and basically this is um, the report produced in Excel application and at the first page of the report you can see a similar chart the whole test 2000 meters one dot is one stroke this is a start stroke rate average stroke rate 46 uh, five strokes um, uh, used to take the uh, produce average curves then the second sample is t uh, average stroke rate 20 19 strokes and 24 24 strokes and so on 27 32 38 and you see the color coded from pink then red uh, brown and the, the last one is black and the, the same color coding go all the way through the report for example on the next page uh, you you see the data for the stroke rover here the same eight samples the same color and you can see the force curves how, how it, uh, the force curve changes uh, the same color coded uh, blade work, uh, legs velocity and so on and what you need to know is that report has uh, four types of the templates the first I'm, I'm showing it now this is what we call session description and distribution of the samples so this helps you to understand where the samples were taken and basically here <clears throat> the main variables for, for the whole board like uh, stroke rate of course the same for all rovers board speed meters per second and projected for 2000 meters then how many strokes taken into account 
variation of the stroke rate as well how consistent the rowing was variation of the board speed uh, and general variables like blade efficiency drag factor and at the bottom you can see charts uh, of the how the board speed changes at every stroke rate so here the black line shows us the target this is like for olympic gold medal and this is a men's eight something like uh, 518 for 2k you see the screw is not uh, quite far uh, at, the, at the target um, quite close at, actually at the start at 46 and then at the bottom uh, left corner you see um, what we call prognostic speed based on effective work per stroke EWPS means effective work per stroke basically there is certain equation which relates the stroke rate and the board speed and based on that equation uh, we ex can extrapolate the, the board speed which we measure say at stroke rate 20 and find out how <coughs> that speed would look like if the crew maintain the same stroke length force but just increase stroke rate up to uh, target value and you see that and we do um, that uh, with every stroke rate you see that effective work per stroke decreases and this is confirmed by actually actually this red curve is work per stroke average for the all rowers measured with uh, our by row system right and here is the target so you see quite good correlation but the difference between these two charts is that this one effective work per stroke is affected by weather conditions of course because with headwind the board speed would be slower at the same power and work per stroke tailwind it will be fast so this assuming weather conditions were the same constant during the test uh, they are similar but sometimes it could be uh, very some variations board acceleration show us dynamics of the board movement and here are some numbers i will explain them later now it's just brief overview of the structure of the report so this is the first page type of the uh, template the second type is basically we uh, can see for every rover how the technique changes at different stroke rate so this is a stroke rover and here is numbers for this rover for all samples you can see how say uh, catch angle finish angle total angle changes average force uh, work per stroke and all other variables here at the bottom at the charts you can see as i said uh, gives you visual impression of the changes of the force curve you see that it's decreasing at the end and these charts show us uh, like general variables like total angle uh, again black horizontal line is a target 90 degrees you see this rower was quite close at low stroke rate 20 24 then uh, stroke length which is total total or angle uh, decreases down and similar with average force and the work per stroke is actually product of these two stroke length and average force it also decreases and uh, it's actually minimal at racing stroke rate 37 and the last piece just final uh, finished uh, burst it's uh, higher again and similar charts we can see for every rowers the seat 7 was actually longer even longer than the target at low rate and short uh, get uh, his stroke layer rate, um, yeah, sorry, length got shorter. You see the changes in the force curve actually at the second half. 
In this way you can compare actually the whole crew how they perform during the test each rover and then the third type of the pages actually here we can compare rovers at all rovers all eight rovers in the, in this crew at different stroke rates for example this one stroke rate 27 <coughs> and you can see uh, you can compare actually their stroke length uh, average force power and so on and here you can compare the force curves you can see that uh, seat 5 outstanding the strong rover straight away you can see he pulls much higher force and here handle velocity vertical or angle which is blade work in the water legs velocity and importantly this um, template is used um, for evaluation of the synchronization in the crew. Uh, here all charts synchronized that vertical line is a catch, drive and then finish here. And there is certain um, 12 points during the stroke cycle and we uh, our software takes timing for each rover from the stroke rover so this chart, what we call synchronization wheel, show us uh, if every rover overtake the stroke rover, which is a negative timing inside that purple circle. So the stroke is always on zero. Here you can see the numbers of the stroke rover, all 12 moments during the stroke cycle. Here you can see the chart purple circle again the stroke rover always on zero negative numbers inside that circles earlier means overtaking the stroke rover positive numbers later than the stroke rover outside and you can see 12 points which is uh, sit on recovery uh, um, this moment when the rover start pushing the stretcher if you read my latest newsletter there's some more explanation about this point then catch this is where the handle changes direction basically this is handle velocity crosses zero you can see it's quite good synchronization in this crew then seat on recovery how they change direction at the seat not so good synchronization and i think this is the most important point it's the most important to synchronize seat, seat movement because it gives better dynamics better board uh, acceleration pattern at catch then vertical uh, at catch this is how they bury the blade uh, in the water entry force how they uh, catch the water actually quite good synchronization as well then how they increase force up to 70 percent uh, then maximal seat velocity peak force maintaining force up to 70 percent uh, blade work at the finish force at the finish and then uh, actually finish itself how they change direc uh, direction actually of the or at the finish uh, not so good synchronization here but now just brief description of this page this is top type number three and then the last and probably the simplest uh, uh, biro template is what we call evaluation of the results and here we just um, take one sample <clears throat> usually this is second to last sample racing stroke rate 37 here and for every rover we compare uh, the main variables with targets here target actually is for what we call goal standard time 518 for mains 8 here you see the speed not uh, so, so fast yet 607 and then uh, basically the speed uh, is directly related to rowing power of course to the weather as well but it, uh, given weather rowing power is actually proportional to the cube of the board speed and the rowing power is actually a product of three main components and this is uh, stroke rate target 41 footman's eight 
total or, uh, angle which is stroke length 90 degrees and average force 380 newton and then we compare every rover at this sample racing stroke rate and more detailed numbers uh, for example for stroke length at sketch and finish angle and here uh, this also color coded numbers uh, are color coded below target is blue above target zone is red and within target zone is green so for this rover of course uh, for uh, the main variables the force of course the, the, the higher the better red would be good but here it's not at the target yet um, here the blade work on the target catch slip that means he buries the blade quite well this is a curve of the uh, blade work and at the bottom we compare the main uh, variables with targets as well here uh, the blue is a target uh, force curve and this is a red measured force curve for this rover you see it's quite close to the target during the first half of the drive but second half is actually quite low force and similar to the blade work this is a recovery uh, this rover sky and the blade before catch significantly that blade goes down uh, quite quickly which is good a little bit deeper than target and then slightly washing out at the finish here is legs velocity and upper body trunk and arms velocity also compared with the target so basically this is quite simple and effective method of evaluation of um, that enormous amount of information which we receive during biomechanical testing and i think it helps to for every when you compare different rovers you can see for example this four curves with double picking uh, blade work is actually uh, a little bit shallow and for every rover we can compare with targets and, and it's very specific information I think that's enough for the first time uh, please uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, I would be very happy to continue this uh, video blogging and answer your question and help you to row better and better understand rowing by biomechanics thanks for your attention